live from Titan Gym on the campus of Cal State Fullerton. Prime Ticket presents NCAA Basketball. Tonight, the Cal State Fullerton Titans host the Washington Huskies. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jeff Witcher along with Brad Holland. And Brad, quickly, how do you see tonight's game? What's the key? I'm going to concentrate on the Fullerton team. If they can somehow immobilize Phelps and stop him reasonably and also shoot well from the outside because they're not going to have much of an inside game because of the height of Washington, they can win this game. Okay, this is a very tough place to play. The fans, about 3,500 strong, will be making all kinds of noise. It should be quite a ball game. Washington 4-3 and three so far on the season, and Fullerton 5-1. and one. Okay, we are just about ready for the playing of our national anthem, so we'll turn things over to the public address announcer, Ron Fremont. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand and join Lisa Brummel in the singing of our national anthem. ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Titan Gymnasium let's welcome a live prime ticket network audience for tonight's NCAA college basketball game featuring the University of Washington Huskies and your Cal State Fullerton Titans let's introduce the starting lineup for both sides first for Washington a 6'5 senior forward from Los Angeles, California, Kevin Bedado. At forward for Cal State Fullerton, a 6'7 junior forward from Oakland, California, Henry Turner. At forward for Washington, a 6'10 senior from Edmonds, Washington, Phil Zevenbergen. Forward for the Titans, a 6'7 senior from Long Beach, California, Derek Jones. At center for the Huskies, a 7-foot senior from Silverdale, Washington, Chris Belt. At center for the Titans, a 6'7 senior from San Diego, California, Herman Webster. Guard for Washington, a six foot one freshman from New Orleans, Louisiana, Eldridge Rakasner. At guard for the Titans, a six four junior from San Francisco, California, Richard Morton. And the other guard spot for Washington, a six foot senior from Los Angeles, California, Greg Hill. 
And at point guard for the Titans, a 6'3 junior from Los Angeles, California, Eugene Jackson. The head coach of the University of Washington is Andy Russo. The head coach of Cal State Fullerton is George McWarn. The referees for tonight's ball game, a non-conference affair. Gary Bunker, Tom Pinkin, and Fred Carbone. Starting lineup for Washington up front, Seven Bergen, Vedado, Velvet Center, in the backcourt, Hill, and the freshman, Rakasner. For Fullerton, Jones and Turner at forwards, Herman Webster at the post position, and in the backcourt, Jackson and Richard Morton. They really get into their basketball here at Cal State Fullerton. They'll make all kinds of noise. George McWarren in his seventh year as head coach of the Titans. Jumping center, the seven-footer, Chris Belt. Herman Webster gives way to forward Derek Jones, who's 6'7". Jones will jump against Belt. Belt wins the tip. We're underway. Washington has it. That's the freshman, Rakasner, leading the offense. Kevin Vedato. Driving baseline, 2-0 Washington. Badato out of Los Angeles, scoring first for the Huskies. Richard Morton has the basketball for Fullerton. Eugene Jackson goes inside to Webster. He got the bounce. That ties it at two. Nice move inside, Brad, by Webster. Very aggressive, too. Almost as if Chris Belk wasn't even there. He just turned and fired. And like you said, got the great bounce. Monado cross court to Greg Hill. Hill has it batted away, taken by Fullerton. Webster leads to Jackson. Richard Morton. And we've got a foul before offensive foul on Fullerton. And I believe it was on Richard Morton here. But this is what we talked about. They create offense by their defense. They got the hand in, got the steal. There's the break. Richard Morton giving up the charge on that. What you want to do on that play is the fundamentals. You want to stop on two feet so you don't run into the defensive man. Fullerton, very aggressive defensive team, and they force a lot of turnovers. In fact, the opposing teams have committed twice as many turnovers so far as the Titans. Vedato runs into a man. Offensive foul, Kevin Vedato. Oh, the crowd, they will be a factor. George McCorn, he'll spend most of his time up off the bench. Yeah, you're exactly right. He's a very animated coach. Uh, gives a lot of encouragement, yells at his team constantly. And uh, you said it about defense, Jeff. They work harder on defense than any other aspect. Henry Turner with it. Morton picked up outside. And Jarek Jones. They play a motion offense with the low post. Fullerton got a break and they kept the basketball. They almost lost it. That was off the foot of Rakasner. Andy Russo, the head coach of Washington. Took over for the legendary Marv Harshman last year. Eugene Jackson setting up the Titan offense. We've got a whistle. And it's on Fullerton. And it's on Henry Turner, number 40, I believe. And Jeff, less than two minutes gone in the game. That's three offensive fouls. That's, that's incredible. 18 minutes and eight seconds left in the first half, and it's a 2-2 tie. 
Craig Hill all the way. Didn't get the bounce. Rebounded nicely by Herman Webster of Fullerton. Webster averages four rebounds a contest. Derek Jones. Wow, that was a tough shot right over Chris Bump on the baseline. All her balance and everything. Has their first lead, four to two. Greg Hill working against Morton. Rakasner baseline. And a traveling violation. A turnover against the Huskies, and Russo is not happy at all. No, but he might be pretty happy that the Huskies so far are having no trouble penetrating. That's what you need to do against this top tight defense. Derek Jones over to Turner, guarded by Badato. Washington in a man-to-man -man defense. And low, Webster, offensive foul on Fullerton's Herman Webster. Kevin Badato, <laughs> he says, what is this, a football game? But here it is, the fourth offensive foul. Easy, make, easy call to make, I'm trying to say. Kevin Badato waiting there a long time for that one. First foul on Webster, third team foul on Cal State Fullerton. Fullerton full court pressure. If there's a trend, it's that it's going to be a very physical ball game. Four offensive fouls so far. But Kastner out in front to Badato. Craig Hill with it, goes down low to Zevin Bergen. Partially blocked, and now we've got a foul. Chris Belt, a pushing foul. That's his first personal. Just under 17 minutes to play. First half, 4-2 in favor of the home team. Cal State Fullerton, they're in the white uniforms. Into Webster going against Belt. Richard Morton. 6-2 in favor of the Titans. That's his game, Richard Martin. He loves to shoot the outside jumper, and he's a very effective jump shooter. The freshman, Rick Kasner, dribbled it out of bounds, so Fullerton gets it again. And that's four turnovers already for Washington. Fullerton with one less than that. Sixteen minutes and ten seconds on the game clock. Twenty-eight seconds left on the shot clock. They use a 45-second shot clock in the men's game. High Archer air ball by Turner. Turner gets it back trying to slam it. No good, but a foul on Washington's seven-footer Chris Belt. Listen to the crowd. Is there any question the Titans are fired up and are they playing some mean defense? Turner with the off-balance jump shot doesn't go, but look at that hustle. And now he's determined to stop this one. Oh. oh, I know he feels that he should have made that one. Still a great play. Henry Turner. Belt does not think he fouled Turner. And he let the official know. Boy. Two personals on Belt, who has only been in foul trouble in just one of the first seven games for Washington. Well, his past history, he doesn't get in foul trouble very often. But with two quick ones here, what a great advantage for Fullerton. Turner, pretty good free thrower, trying to make them both, and does. It's a timeout, but no one knows it yet. <laughs> Six-point lead for Fullerton. Washington with the basketball. Just under 16 minutes to play, first half. Seven Bergen to Badato. Greg Hill, a three-point shot by Hill. That makes it eight to five. Boy, instead of a timeout, which the, the officials are trying to call, they let play go, and Washington gets a three-pointer. Eugene Jackson sets up the Fullerton offense. They want to move it around for a good percentage shot. Henry Turner with it. In the corner, Richard Morton. Well, I count that one. Richard Morton, two for two now. You can't give him the 15-foot jumper. That's obvious. Again, a five-point lead for Cal State Fullerton and a foul on Jackson of Fullerton. 
But you know, F Fullerton will do that now and then, Jeff. They're a very aggressive team. They'll get the unfortunate call now and then. We've got a timeout here at the Titan Gym with 15 minutes seconds left in the first half. Fullerton off to a quick start, leading by five. The Upstart Lasers have a mighty date with one of the MISL's toughest franchises, the Tacoma Stars. And Prime Ticket will be at the Tacoma Dome to see if their early season success continues. The Lasers, though, will have to stop perennial leading scorer Steve Jungle, the MISL's all-time greatest performer, and one of the league's potent scorers, Precky. Join Prime Ticket from Washington as we get set for the Lasers and the Tacoma Stars. High-powered MISL excitement. Want to find out the scores of the day, the fast-breaking sports news, and the people who make it? Then you want Prime Ticket Daily News Dial Sports. It's the fastest, easiest way to find out game analysis, weather information, player injuries, and with up-to-the-minute reporting 24 hours a day with fresh updates every five minutes. Plus, find out what's on Prime Ticket tonight. Just call 213-976-1313. Prime Ticket Daily News Dial Sports. Tonight's game is brought to you by the Southern California Chevrolet dealers who announce a $300 cash rebate on all new Cavaliers delivered by January 5th, 1987. And by Discount Tire Centers, now leading the way with 46 locations in Southern California. Discount Tire Centers, we cut prices, not quality. Cal State Fullerton leading 10 to five. Washington has the basketball. Kevin Vadado will handle out of bounds. Washington, four and three, their record thus far. They have won two games in a row. Fullerton, five and one, undefeated here at home, three and zero, oh, and they have won five games in a row. I believe there's some discussion about the clock, and, it, and that was before the timeout. The coaches are getting into it here. They're going to put their heads together and see what they come up with. Yeah, that's all it was. Well, George McCorn seems very happy about the decision or what's come out of that. Andy Russo does not seem visibly upset about it. Must not be that big of a deal. Washington has the basketball. And I believe that Hill stepped out of bounds. That's right. Another Washington turnover forced by the tenacious defense of the Titans. All right, Coach Russo is very concerned right now. I'm sure he's drilled his players for teams like this. But I tell you, you got to come ready to play offensively against the Titans. Their defense is tenacious. Jackson to Morton. Herman Webster comes out high and gets it. Batted away by Washington, stolen by Washington. Rick Kasner to Hill. The Titans wanted a traveling violation, didn't get it. They almost got a steal right there, Richard Morton with his quick hands. Belt trying to get it over Webster. Belt all the way down, puts it up. It goes in. We have a foul prior to the drive, no bucket. Right there, Herman Webster, he knows his assignment is tough. He's got to guard the great All-American candidate, Chris Belt. And Chris does a little drive in here. That's a seven-footer, folks, going all the way to the paint and then up to the basket. Belt is playing a more aggressive brand of basketball this season than he ever has in the past. You can see it right there. Nice play by Chris Belt. Seven feet tall, 245. He's bulked up a little bit, a little bit stronger. You saw some real agility there, too, with that little off-balance jumper. Fullerton up by three. They've got the basketball. 14 minutes and eight seconds left. First half, I'm Jeff Witcher, along with Brad Holland, bringing the action your way. You're on prime ticket. Derek Jones makes it 12-7. Fullerton. Jones averages a little over 10 points a game. He's out of Long Beach, California. Washington moving the basketball, trying for a good percentage shot, and it's intercepted by Turner. The lead to Jackson. He's on a breakaway. 
The Fullerton crowd loving it. A seven-point lead for the Titans. All right, Fullerton's got Washington's number right there now defensively. Brett Kashner, a whistle before the shot. The foul is on Henry Turner of the Titans. Well, this is Rakasner. He's trying to penetrate, which he should do. Well, they're calling the reach in there by Henry Turner, I guess, but Rakasner definitely traveled, but the foul was before the travel. Couple of subs in for George McCorn's ball club. Number four, Alexander Hamilton, and number 33, Oval Miller. Greg Hill, no good. Rebound, Richard Morton for Fullerton. Right. There's Alexander Hamilton. Yes, he is related to Roy, his younger brother. Turner with a move in there and a foul. Offensive foul on Henry Turner. Well, another aggressive move by Fullerton. This time, number 40, Henry Turner. He leaves his feet in the air. He commits. And there's Zevenbergen waiting for him. Zevenberger, Bergen did a great job defensively on that play. Took the charge beautifully. Washington's getting good at that. Uh, they've shown a little defense of their own tonight. I believe that's the fourth offensive charge that they've taken. So Turner has to come out. Vincent Blow into the ball game, number 54 out of Belinda, California, for Fullerton. Zevenbergen misses a free throw. Blow with the rebound. 14-7, the score in favor of Cal State Fullerton. Little under 13 minutes to play, first half. Richard Morton has the ball for the uh, Titans over to Blow. Hamilton picked up by Al Moscatel, who's out of the game for Washington. He wears number 21. He was the important sixth man last year. A three-point shot, no good by Morton. Off of a Washington player, so Fullerton gets the ball back. Well, Fullerton with that three-point attempt, that was a good time to use it, although they don't like to play that much. That is, George McCorrin doesn't like the three-pointer that much, but with the clock winding down, that was a good shot selection. That's Hamilton with it. We have a whistle away from the ball. The foul is on Washington. Kevin's trying to get the... The offensive call there with the, the elbow. And Andy Russo got to be a little concerned right now. Washington's not playing very well. It's a football score right now, 14 to 7. Kevin Bedato picks up his second personal. That's four team fouls on Washington. Fullerton stepped out of bounds, so Washington takes over. Seven-point advantage for Fullerton. A little over 12 minutes to play. First half. Seven Bergen. That's Moscatel with it, guarded by Morton. Phelps under to Seven Bergen, and he is really hacked. The foul is on Derek Jones. Nice pass by the big man, Belt. This is working it called high to low here. It's going to go high to Chris Belt. He sees his open teammate, Seven Bergen. That's the way to do it. Nice play. That high to low is tough to defend when you've got a, a defense that overplays like the Titans. First foul on Jones. Coming into the ball game for Washington, a local product out of Crenshaw High School, Ron Caldwell. He replaces Fidato. Seven Bergen at the free throw line. He makes the first. Boy, this young man has really improved. Phil Zevenbergen having a very good senior year. Belt with a rebound on the miss. He puts it up and in. Nice play by the seven-footer. Well, we've said it before in other broadcasts. Anytime you can get the rebound, you know, on a missed free throw and get a couple of points out of it, that uh, makes it tough on the opposing team. That cuts the Fullerton lead to four points. It's 14 to 10. Derek Jones, Morton with it. 17 on the shot clock. It goes inside to Miller. 11 and a half to play, first half. Eight on the shot clock. Hamilton, no good. 
Caldwell fighting for it, and Caldwell comes up with it for Washington. Rakasner guarded by Hamilton. Rakasner to Moscatel to Belt. Rebounded by Miller. Well, nothing wrong with that shot. You want Christian Belt in low like that for his shot. Just unfortunate he missed it. And here we go, Jeff. The Titan uh, offense. Well, here it goes down low. Miller has a block by Belt. Great play by Belt. Washington gets the ball. Moscatel working against Morton. Zevenbergen over to Moscatel, back to Zevenbergen. And he is fouled. Vincent Blow picks up the personal. Well, Vincent, he timed it right, but he came down over the arm of Zevenbergen. And what you want to do is you want to go straight up and just block the ball and recover it yourself. Eugene Jackson back into the ball game for Cal State Fullerton, replacing Derek Jones. Sevenbergen showing the nice touch at the free throw line. Uh, can he play tight end for the Huskies or, or what? Wow, is he built? Herman Webster into the game for Cal State Fullerton. Oval Miller takes a seat on the Titan bench. 14-11 in favor of Fullerton. Sevenbergen can cut it to two and does. Here at the Titan Gym in Fullerton, California, we've got a timeout called. Ten and a half minutes left, first half, 14 to 12 in favor of the Titans. Every 34 seconds, somebody else buys a new Chevrolet Cavalier. But now you can get $300 cash back on Cavalier sedans, $300 on Cavalier wagons, $300 on Cavalier convertibles, cash back from Chevrolet. See your dealer now for details. You must take actual retail delivery from dealer stock by January 5th or watch the Cavaliers pass you by. There goes another one. See you Southern California Chevrolet dealers. Don't buy a car without us. Fire Brewing. It's more than a way to make Stroh's and Stroh light. It's a family tradition. Passed down from one generation to another for over 200 years. It's what guarantees that smooth, consistent taste for generations to come. Now you're talking Stroh. Now you're talking beer. Now you're talking good times. And Stroh's is spoken here. I want to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Prime Ticket Network, available on such fine cable systems as Heritage Cable Vision, serving the Compton area. Prime Ticket, it's in a league by itself. They're having all kinds of fun tonight here at the Titan Gym on the campus of Cal State Fullerton. All ages. 14 to 12, the score in favor of the Titans over Washington. The seven-footer, Chris Belt, fifth all-time Washington score with 1,484 points. If he gets 26 tonight, he would move into the fourth spot all-time. Fullerton will have the basketball. hanging in there. They're only down two. They've scored the last five points. And that's got to please Andy Russo, the coach of Washington. Richard Morton looking back door. Now he goes to Alexander Hamilton. Richard Morton getting to get the bounce high off the board for the rebound. Ron Caldwell. He can really leap. That's the freshman point guard. Rick Kasner with it. Nice screen by Moscatel. High post. And we've got a foul on Herman Webster trying to front Chris Belt. And George McCorn is all over the official. He did not like that call and lets him know it. Well, I can't argue with him. Herman Webster, 
Well, he's got three fouls. I think he picked it clean. We're going to get a pretty good look at it right here. Ron Caldwell with the ball. He passes an unfortunate pass, but a lucky pass because there wasn't a foul on it. Look at Herman already knows that. Oh, he says, oh you got to be kidding. I didn't touch him. No way. That's a grimace for two things. He didn't get the steal in the basket, and that's his third foul. Belt missed the free throw and then it went off a Washington player out of bounds for Fullerton. Into the game for the Titans, number 33, Oval Miller. He replaces Webster, who has to leave with three personal fouls. Two point lead for Fullerton, just under 10 minutes to play, first half. Richard Morton with it, guarded by Moscatel. Washington in a zone now. Jackson. You can't get a more open shot than that, and you can't work a motion offense better than that. That was a clean 15-foot jump shooter by Jackson. Four-point lead for the Titans. Caldwell high post to Zevenberg and DeBell battered away by Miller, and Fullerton can't keep it. Caldwell takes it away. Another turnover for Washington. Fullerton gets the ball out of bounds. Boy, the defense is so impressive, isn't it? What an intense game this is. It really is. It really is. Richard Morton. No good. Tipped up and in. Opal Miller tipped it up. Two points for Miller. 18-12 in favor of Cal State Fullerton. Just under nine minutes to play in the first half. It goes into Belt. Belt double teamed and it's taken away. Miller, three on one. Morton to Hamilton. Wow. Steal some more quick hands by the Titans. There's Jackson. He's gonna get it. Nope. Now Oval Miller gets it. Now it's to Jackson. And here's the three-on-one break to perfection right there to Alexander Hamilton for the bucket. And that's uh, Alexander's going for the three-point play because there was a foul on the That was a beautifully thrown bounce pass for the assist by Richard Morton. Let him perfectly. I know we've said it a couple times before, but that's when the Titans will break. And they create so much for themselves offensively because of their tough defense. Craig Hill replacing Moscatel for Washington. Hill, another local product out of Los Angeles. He's a senior, six feet tall, 175 pounder. Alexander Hamilton at the free throw line. He misses, and it goes to Washington. Eight-point lead for Fullerton. Eight minutes and 24 seconds left in the first half. Washington needs to get on track here. Wow, another turnover. It went off Caldwell out of bounds to Fullerton. And you're looking at Alexander Hamilton right there, number four. He might be the best defensive player on the team, although he's a sixth, seventh man. He comes in and provides a lot of D for the Titans. Four more turnovers for Washington, and Andy Russo... A little bit upset with the officials right now. I think he's also upset with his team, Jeff. They're not very poised now. They're out of sync. Their offense needs to get on track. That's Tyrone Reed into the game for Fullerton. Reed, R-E-E, -E, wears number 22. Off the leg of Zevenberg and out of bounds to Fullerton. Richard Morton replaces Reeve for Cal State Fullerton. We've got another timeout. The clock stops with 7.55 left first half. And right now, it's pretty much Cal State Fullerton in control. Right now, all 46 discount tire stores are holding their spectacular year-end clearance sale. 
Hi, everybody. I'm Chick Hearn with incredible savings on Michelin tires at all discount tire stores. Like this one for just $47.95. So don't miss our year-end clearance sale. It's your opportunity to get Michelin's popular XH tires for as low as $47.95. But hurry, supplies are limited. Discount tire stores. We cut prices, not quality. There's some things you learn the hard way, like don't go hunting without the right dog. And never buy a car or a truck without seeing your Southern California Chevrolet dealer. Because he's got America's most popular sport utility vehicle, the S10 Blazer. It'll take you wherever you want to go in style. And your Southern California Chevy dealer is doing whatever it takes to make sure you get one. So don't buy a car without us. See your Southern California Chevrolet dealers. Don't buy a car without us. Tonight's game is brought to you by Great Western's family of companies, over $25 billion strong, will always be there. And by Avis, who invites you to get away this Christmas with a new Chevy Cavalier or similar car for just $89 a week. Call Avis for details. Just under eight minutes to play first half, an eight-point lead for Cal State Fullerton. Fullerton has the basketball. Hamilton out in front, it goes to Jackson. Hamilton down on the floor, but he's okay. The crowd wanted a foul. They didn't get it. Three on the shot clock. It'll count if it goes. It doesn't go. Sevenbergen hustles after it for Washington. Well, here we go. Washington needs to put together something offensively. They need to score about four or six points in a row here. Under to Sevenbergen. He banked it too hard. Belt, no good, but he's fouled. Once again, with the, with the tight defense of the Titans, you're going to do a backdoor pass like that once in a while. Right here, Greg Hill sees Sevenberger on the back door. Sevenberger can't put it in. Belt's going to get the rebound, and he's going to get fouled right there in the back of the head. Belt led the Huskies in free throw percentage last year at 75%, but he's had problems this year. He misses another one. He started the night at 65%, but he has dipped under that tonight. Watch and see his free throw. See if this reminds you of a guy that I played with the Lakers, Jamal Wilkes. He puts it behind his head. It's really an unorthodox type of shot. And he makes it. Because he doesn't shoot his jump shot that way. I don't understand why a player would shoot his free throw different than his jump shot. The only difference should be is that you don't jump. Your motion should be exactly the same. Very good point. A seven-point lead now for Fullerton. Just a little over seven minutes to play. Hamilton getting to, to Morton. That was a two-pointer. His foot was on the line. Two points. 22 to 13 in favor of the Titans. Devin Bergen. Hill with it, baseline. Goes into Belt. He's double team, puts it up. Nice shot. That, 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 Belt. And that was a good no call. Right there, Washington has to do more of that. You know what they were? They were patient. You can't rush yourselves against a an overplaying defense like the Titans display. You need to take your time and get the good shot. Fullerton with a seven-point lead in the basketball, and Hill trying for the steal. Couldn't quite get it. Out of bounds to the Titans. Nice hustle by Greg Hill of Washington. End of the game for the Huskies, Kevin Vedato, replacing Ron Caldwell. Derek Jones comes off no good. Jones ends up with the, his own rebound. Nice play by Derek. Boy, the Titans with, Titans with great strategy offensively in this first half. You can see they're trying to make the Huskies play defense a long time. Richard Morton, a three-point shot for Richard Morton. Well, Coach McCormick clapped at that three-pointer. He doesn't like to see his players shoot too many of those, but he was happy about that. Anytime they go in, it's great. Ten-point lead for the Titans. 
Five and a half to play, first half. Rakasner, no. Rebound goes to Derek Jones of Fullerton. Fullerton outplayed Washington at both ends of the court thus far, but they turn the ball over. Badano saves it, but it goes to Fullerton's Morton, to Jones, to Hamilton, or check that, to Eugene Jackson. There's a steal by Hill, but it goes out of bounds. Greg Hill showing great quickness. Nice effort. Henry Turner into the game for Fullerton, replacing Derek Jones. Ron Caldwell into the game, replacing Phil Zevenbergen. Boy, and have you noticed what a revolving door it is for Cal State Fullerton? Coach McCorran runs his players in and out of there. It's simply this, because they play such hard defense. Those guys are getting tired. He runs them in and out to give guys blows. Number 54, Vincent Blow, speaking of blows, comes in for Fullerton. He's 6'8", 223 pounds, a junior. <laughs> 25 to 15, Fullerton leading Washington. Four minutes and 52 seconds left, first half. Henry Turner. Vincent Blow, and it goes to Turner. Twenty-seven to fifteen, Fullerton. Well, I just think the Titans wanted it more that time. They're out hustling the Huskies right now, in my opinion. High post, Belt. Belt doesn't get the bounce. Rebound goes to Henry Turner. Outlet to Jackson. To Morton. Uh, Back to Jackson. the other end, a slam dunk by Ron Caldwell. Well, Fullerton was high five, and they were so excited about their fast break, they didn't get back on defense. Washington did the right thing. They had the great transition pass to create a layup of their own. Bill Zebenbergen comes back in at one of the forward spots for Washington. Andy Russo motioning to his ball club. Tyrone Reed, number 22, into the game for Fullerton. And George McCorn letting his team know what he wants them to run offensively. Well, I think they're going to do more of the same. They're running out some clock every time they're down, trying to get the good shot selection, making Washington stay a long time on that D. Under four minutes to play. Vincent Blow, it's short. Rebound, seven Bergen. Shot was no good by Hill. Blow saves it. Great play by Vincent Blow, saving it to Alexander Hamilton. And where was Washington? That was pure desire and hustle. And look at the rebounding so far. Fullerton out rebounding Washington by four. That's significant. Washington's so much taller. Vincent Blow, no good. He gets his own rebound. Richard Morton to blow, great fake, and he scores. They're loving it, and that's understandable. They're loving it. They're beating a Pac-10 team by 14, Fullerton is. Look out, Pacific Coast Athletic Association. Fullerton is for real. Kevin Badano underneath to Zevenbergen. I'm not sure that they're going to count that bucket. By the look on his face, I think he's sure they're not. <laughs> I think he'd be a little more happy than that. And that's a good look at Oval Miller, the man that just scored the last bucket for the Titans. Derek Jones in for Fullerton. Oval Miller gets a breather. And I'm sorry, that 54 is Vincent Blow. He's the one that scored the last bucket for the Titans, and he, he's the one that fouled Phil Zevenbergen, put, putting him to the line. Eugene Jackson comes in, number 12, replacing Tyrone Reed. A one and one. 
and he makes the first. 31 to 18, our score in favor of Fullerton. Seven Bergen hits them both. We've got a timeout here at a noisy Titan Gym in Fullerton. 43 seconds left in the first half, and Fullerton leading big. Last spring, Prime Ticket brought your way the excitement and skill of professional polo with the Los Angeles Colts. Well, once again, the Mallets will be out in force as the Colts take on the very tough San Francisco Buccaneers. Be a part of all the power, precision, and endurance of professional polo as the L.A. Colts ride against the San Francisco Buccaneers. See it exclusively on the Prime Ticket Network. From now until Christmas Eve, Prime Ticket will take you out to Hollywood Park for all the fury and fast-paced action of some of the nation's best thoroughbred racing. As Prime Ticket's last event of the evening, the Holiday Meeting of Champions is an exciting way to watch your favorite mount battle down to the wire. See the best in the West as thoroughbred racing thunders across your cable screen on Prime Ticket. Here's an interesting halftime score. Washington State leading UCLA by seven. Well, I don't think that's so interesting. UCLA doesn't play well on the road. They're up there at Pullman. That's a tough place to play. It's a beginning Pac-10 for both UCLA and Washington State. I'm sorry, but that's no surprise at all. The Bruins are going to have to prove to a lot of people this year that they can play any kind of good basketball on the road. Field goals so far, Washington 50% and Fullerton 50%. 31-19 in favor of Cal State Fullerton. Jackson. Richard Morton all by himself. Uh, what a bounce! <laughs> You'll never see a kinder bounce than that. <laughs> He'll tell everybody that's exactly what he wanted it to do. That thing delayed at the top of the board. I thought it might stay up there. End of Zevenbergen. Easy two points underneath. And the interesting thing for the Washington Huskies right now is Zevenbergen's getting a lot of action down low. That's because, of course, Chris Velp's out of the game right now. But even when he's in it, Chris Velp has not been a, has not been a factor offensively yet. 33-21, Fullerton leading. It goes in to Vincent Blow, and before he gets the pass, we have a whistle. The foul is on Washington. Ron Caldwell picks up the personal for the Huskies. That's the first personal on Caldwell. He's out of Pasadena, California, 6'6", 220-pound freshman. Richard Morton. Is that an athlete hanging in the air like that, double clutching, putting it in from about 17 feet? That's a dozen points for Morton here in the first half. A foul, and it's on Rakasner of Washington. Well, he's a good-looking freshman, but he's going to drive it down the teeth of the defense of the Titans there, trying to do a little too much. You're going to get those calls when you're the home team, right? That's what they say. Because there wasn't a whole lot of contact on that. Oval Miller reports into the game for Cal State Fullerton, replacing Vincent Blow. Boy, George McCorrin sees that you're the least bit huffing and puffing. You're out of the ball game. He wants that high-intensity defense 100% of the time. Hamilton under 70% from the free throw line, and he misses it. Nice rebound by Greg Hill. Hill to Rakasner. Well, that's taking advantage there on the transition. Washington doing a good job right there with Rakasner leading the break. 12-point lead for Fullerton. 
one minute to play in the first half. Eugene Jackson trying to pass it, and he was fouled. Boy, it just seems every time Fullerton's going down on the offensive end, one of two things happen. They either get a basket or they get a foul and they're sent to the line. End of the game for the first time tonight. Clay Damon, number 12 for Washington. He's out of Spokane, a senior, 6'3", 195 pounds. There's Clay. Hasn't played very much this year. Jackson, one and one. Jackson has been the top free thrower on the Titans. Didn't get the bounce, tipped up no good. It's Zevenbergen with the rebound for Washington. 50 seconds to play in the first half. 36 seconds on the shot clock. Greg Hill to Kevin Badato. In the Zevenbergen. Very rough inside, no call. Richard Morton. Kept up by Derek Jones. Boy, Derek Jones with great position, playing above the rim for that tip. Boy, this is a difficult gym to play in. Under 10 seconds to play, first half. Caldwell, no, air ball. Vincent Blow. It'll count if it goes. It's another air ball, and there is a gun ending the first half. And you would have thought, with the noise in this building, that this was an NCAA playoff game. It's a Pac-10 school, and it's very important. Here at halftime, the score, Cal State Fullerton, 38, Washington, 23. We'll be back after this. There's some things you learn the hard way, like don't operate a new appliance without reading the directions. And never buy a compact car without seeing your Southern California Chevrolet dealer, because he's got the Spectrum, the Nova, the Cavalier, and the 58 miles per gallon Sprint ER. Your Southern California Chevy dealers are doing whatever it takes to make sure you get one, so don't buy a car without us. See your Southern California Chevrolet dealers. Don't buy a car without us. Say Mount Shasta, 100 miles away. Sure makes everything else look mighty small. It's kind of like Great Western Savings, big and strong. That's why your money is so safe there. You see, nowadays, the Great Western family of companies stands for over $25 billion in assets and the security of federal insurance. They've been keeping folks' money safe for 100 years now. So you know Great Western's going to be there for a long time to come. For sheer size and strength, it sure stands out. Right now, all 46 Discount Tire stores are holding their spectacular year-end clearance sale. Hi, everybody. I'm Chick Hearn with incredible savings on Michelin tires at all discount tire stores. Like this one for just $47.95. So don't miss our year-end clearance sale. It's your opportunity to get Michelin's popular XH tires for as low as $47.95. But hurry, supplies are limited. Discount tire stores. We cut prices, not quality. What do you say? Call it a day. Five o'clock is here. Now you're talking after work, now you're talking beer, now you're talking good times, and Stroh's is spoken here. Stroh's, fire brewed for smooth, consistent taste, now you're talking beer. Now you're talking Stroh's, now you're talking beer, now you're talking good times, and Stroh's is spoken here. 
So Cal State Fullerton playing an outstanding first half against Washington, and they have a 15-point lead here at halftime. Don't forget, the day after Christmas, we've got another present for you. It's exciting NBA action here on Prime Ticket as the Los Angeles Lakers host the Houston Rockets live from the Forum. The Lakers have not forgotten what the Houston Rockets did to them in the playoffs. The Twin Towers are both back in the lineup, but the Rockets, for some reason or another, still struggling, while the Lakers are playing very well, second-best record in the NBA atop the Pacific Division. It should be quite a game, so make your plans to join us. That's the Lakers and the Houston Rockets, December 26th at 7.20 p.m. 7.20 p.m. right here on Prime Ticket. The athletic director here at Cal State Fullerton is a fine one. His name is Ed Carroll. Let's meet him and go to Brad Holland. Brad? Ed, you must be extremely pleased with your basketball so far. Off to a good start this year, 5-1, and one, and off to a great start this half against Washington. Definitely, Brad. I couldn't be more pleased. The uh, Titan defense, once again, has just been outstanding this first half, and it's been a very outstanding season thus far. Now, this is the first time a Pac-10 team has played in Titan Gym. Uh, you got a very tough schedule. You play UCLA. Can we expect to see more Pac-10 teams coming here to Titan Gym? Well, we definitely want to. It's, it's difficult to schedule Pac-10 teams in here. They're always willing to play at their place, and um, this really is uh, a big boost to our program. We will continue to try to get that type of caliber competition into uh, Titan Gym. Well, let's switch to football. You've got an, speaking of tough schedules, you've got a tough schedule coming up here in the football season. Tell us about that. Well, very much so. This next season, we have games at Florida and LSU. Uh, LSU very well could be ranked number one in the country at the beginning of next season. And Florida, of uh, course, has been very strong for a number of years. And, and it's, um, it's one way to definitely put our program on the map. Um, a couple of years ago, we went 11-1 and one and didn't get a bowl bid. And I, I can guarantee you, if we go 11-1 and one next year, I would expect to be in the bowl game. Now, a lot of it, people have been talking about Long Beach State and the problems that they're facing financially. You're in the same conference. Are, do you fear the same type of thing? Uh, no, not at all. We're uh, we're in very solid financial position here. Uh, unfortunately, at Long Beach, they have run up a rather uh, sizable deficit, but I'm confident that the community of Long Beach is going to rally behind the program and save it, and uh, we will know here in the next couple of weeks uh, as they, they reach their December 31st deadline. But I, I would hate to see the Long Beach uh, football program drop, and I don't think it's going to happen. And I also understand that you play a lot of your games on the road, so that might I mean, help the financial picture of Cal State Fullerton. Well, it, it has helped, uh, although next year we have five home games and we have four the year after that, and then we plan to have five and, and keep it right in that range. Um, we'll be able to do that provided we can play a team like the LSU or Florida and then um, uh, get our conference games and a couple other opponents at home. We, we, we want to keep that, that home schedule at five, and that gives us six or seven on the road. If you could, Ed, briefly tell us a little bit about what's in store maybe in a couple of, the, of your other sports this year. Well, our soccer team uh, uh, was the co-champions of the PCA this year and qualified for the uh, NCAA playoffs, and, and the soccer is really coming on strong. We um, have an excellent uh, men's and women's gymnastics team. Our, our men's gymnastics team has a uh, recruit from the China, the Republic of China, who was a world champion, so we're expecting big thing out of the, the men's. And, of course, our women's softball team is defending national champions. They have a very strong squad back, and we hope to repeat as national champions there. We've uh, have 10 national championships thus far in all sports, and we hope to add number 11 this year. And our baseball team, which is a two-time national champion, uh, should have another fine season this year. Well, that sounds terrific. Ed, wish you a great year, a good second half here for your Titans. All right, thank you very much, Brad. Thank, thank you. you. Let's go back to Jeff Witcher. Okay, Brad, at halftime, it's 38-23 in favor of Fullerton over the Washington Huskies. Brad and I will return to recap it for you in just a moment. Ho, ho, ho! Well, boys and girls, it's December on Prime Ticket. I made a list and checked it twice, and now I'm going to tell you that Prime Ticket in December is going to be nice. 
December begins a hot month of basketball from the collegiate ranks. You'll see UCLA, Fullerton, Washington, and the fall, as well as complete coverage of the Rainbow Classic in Hawaii. The Lakers entertain Philadelphia, Houston, Dallas, and Portland in this merry month of hoops. The Kings counter with six big contests, among them Gretzky and the Oilers, the Rangers, and the Islanders. Racing highlights from Hollywood Park in Santa Anita, boxing from the Forum, and wrestling all flurry in for December. And we'll have indoor soccer, too, as the Lasers and San Diego Soccers combine for five action-filled matchups. It's a treat I surely won't miss, and neither should you. December on Prime Ticket. It's in a league by itself. Ho, ho, ho! You ever see anything like it? What is this? The 1987 Chevy S10 pickup. 87? Where'd it come from? The Southern California Chevrolet dealers. That's a Chevy truck? Pure Chevy. Tough truck. Oh, real tough. And it's priced less than the leading import. Yeah, great. No kidding. What's the import? Now, Chevrolet's S10 pickup as low as $65.95. Don't buy a truck without us. Hi, Chick Hearn here with an Avis holiday gift idea. Give yourself another car this Christmas. It's easy when your other car is an Avis. You see, from December the 18th through January 5th, Avis will rent you a fine compact car, like a Chevy Cavalier, for just $19 a day or $89 a week. Or your other car can be a more spacious model, such as the Pontiac 6000, just $26 a day or $149 a week. Call a participating California or Las Vegas Avis location for details. Tell them you want your other car for Christmas, and your other car is an Avis. Right now, all 46 Discount Tire stores are holding their spectacular year-end clearance sale. Hi, everybody. I'm Chick Hearn with incredible savings on Michelin tires at all Discount Tire stores. Like this one for just $47.95. So don't miss our year-end clearance sale. It's your opportunity to get Michelin's popular XH tires for as low as $47.95. But hurry, supplies are limited. Discount Tire stores. We cut prices, not quality. Don't forget, we've got more exciting basketball action coming your way here on Prime Ticket. This Tuesday, the Titans of Cal State Fullerton will host the Loyola Lions right here from Titan Gym. The Lions are 5-2. They're out of the WCAC. They're paced by junior forward Mike Yost and senior guard Chris Nikovich. So make your plans to join us this Tuesday, December 23rd. That one begins at 7.20 right here along the Prime Ticket Network. Here at the Titan Gym, it's halftime. And Fullerton, to no surprise as far as we're concerned, leading Washington by 15. Fullerton doing to Washington what they've been doing to every opponent, playing that tough, aggressive defense, forcing a lot of mistakes. And it's impressive. It's against a Pac-10 team. The PC2A is going to have a lot to say about their level of play. But, Jeff, you're right. We talked about the quick mix at the top of the show of Cal State Fullerton. Right now, it's winning out. It's winning out even though they're way outmanned in terms of size of the Washington team. So I think the Titans' strategy is let's keep this up. Let's keep okay. doing this. Okay. Now, Andy Russo, what is he telling his ball club? What must they do to come back out in the second half and get back into the game with Fullerton? Well, I, I'm from the school of Coach John Wooden, and I don't know if he is or not, but I, I have a feeling what he's telling his team, look, Let's not get rattled. Let's settle our offense down. We're, we're doing okay defensively, but offensively, we're turning the ball over. We need to take our time, be patient. Let's not try to make up the 15 points in the first five minutes of the half and, and get the good shots when we get down on the offensive end. Not to take anything away from Cal State Fullerton's performance tonight because they simply have outplayed Washington, but Washington's rustiness showing a little bit. They have not played a game in nine days, and they're trailing by 15 here at halftime. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll have highlights and stats, so stay right where you are. They call them monuments. And they've been around for a long, long time. Well, to me, they're like sentinels. Standing guard, watching over the West. Kind of like Great Western Savings. You know, Great Western's been looking out for folks and their money for nearly 100 years. Nowadays, the Great Western family has over $25 billion in assets. And they're federally insured, so you know your money is real safe and sound. Great Western Savings. Standing tall. 
here to stay. Watching over the West for a long time to come. I've owned a lot of Chevys, but the one I remember most was my first one. Save like heck for it. I really love that car. Buying a car today is still an important investment. So see your Southern California Chevrolet dealer. Tell him what you want and how much you want to spend. He's got over 90 models, and he'll do whatever it takes to make you a great deal. Even if you don't buy a car from us, I'll bet you'll be pretty impressed. See your Southern California Chevrolet dealers. Don't buy a car without us. The Fabulous Forum and the Major Indoor Soccer League cordially invite you to the 1987 MISL All-Star Game. Indoor soccer is America's fastest growing sport. And here's your chance to come out and see all the superstars in action. It'll be a great night of fun for the entire family. Tickets are $8 for adults and $5 for youth under 17. Be there for all the excitement. February 11th, 8 p.m. at the Fabulous Forum, the MISL All-Star Game. Here at halftime, Fullerton leading by 15. Let's show you the highlights of the first half for the Washington Huskies. Here's a missed free throw, and watch 40. Chris Belt as he gets the rebound, and then he'll put up a little short jump shot. Boom, baby. They didn't get enough of that in the first half. Now here is a, a play by Phil Steppenbergen, number 41. Strong inside, and he lays it up and in for a couple of points, and he had a very good first half. In fact, he led the Washington scoring along with Belf with seven apiece. Hill had three. Vedato, Rakasner, and Caldwell all with two points apiece for Washington. For Cal State Fullerton, they did it with aggressive defense. Here you see the defense in action, a block, and now the fast break opportunity. Jackson and Morton working. Morton puts up the jump shot, but he misses. But there to tip it in with the left hand, Derek Jones. Nice play by Derek. They have some fine outside shooters. None better than number 34, Richard Morton, as he cans that jump shot from the outside. Morton had a dozen to lead the Titans scoring. Jones had six. Jackson and Miller with five. Turner had four points. Webster and Blow had two apiece. Let's find out how Fullerton's head coach, George McQuarren, feels about the first half and go to Brad Holland. Tremendous first half for you. Any changes for your team's playing so well? Well, I think we're struggling a little bit, Brad, with their matchup zone. Uh, Morton has shot the ball very well. We've controlled the glass, and I think we have to do the same thing the second half. Coach, thank you. Thank Good you. Luck. Back to Jeff. Okay, so a 15-point first-half lead for Fullerton, and as you heard, the head coach, George McCorn, not satisfied totally. Statistically, team-wise, Fullerton, 55%, 17 of 31, compared to just 8 of 18, 44% for the Huskies. Free-throwing, the Huskies, 60%. Fullerton, 50%. Neither one shot well from the line. Rebounding, believe it or not, Fullerton, although outsized, had five more rebounds, and look at the turnover picture. That's a big story in the first half. Seven more turnovers for the Huskies than Fullerton, and that is the big reason they're down by 15 as we get ready for the final 20 minutes of action here at a very noisy Titan Gymnasium as the crowd starts to rise for the second half. Fullerton will have the basketball. Richard Morton with it. Fullerton starts the same quintet. Morton, Jackson, Webster, Turner, and Derek Jones. We've got a foul on Greg Hill of Washington. Well, Greg Hill playing some aggressive defense of his own there. Trying to get the game into the game for the Huskies right there with some uh, good defense. Overplayed a little bit too much. Ran into the men. Same starters for the Huskies up front. Phil Zevenbergen, Kevin Vedato, Chris Belp at center. In the backcourt, Greg Hill and Eldridge Rakasner. Washington starting the second half in a man-to-man -man defense. Eugene Jackson. Boy, was that pretty. Flying across the lane, Eugene Jackson. So Fullerton adds a bucket to that lead. It's now a 17-point advantage.
They get it to Belt down low. Nice move around Webster. And remember, Webster playing with three personal fouls. Yeah, smart move offensively. Well, you got to get it down low to Chris Belt this half. He's got to get into this game and score a lot of points for the Huskies to win. 40-25 in favor of Fullerton. Just the start of the second half. I'm Jeff Witcher along with Brad Holland. Henry Turner, no good. And it comes off to Greg Hill. And a belt. Here we go. There we go. That's what they want. Two buckets in a row from Belt. And now George McWarren, very upset with his ball club here at the opening stages of the second half, calls a timeout. 18:41 left in the game. Fullerton 40, Washington 27. We'll be right back. The game that counts, the pressure mounts, the kickoff's almost here. I know the way. Now you're Let's talking go. football. Now you're talking fear. Now you're talking good times. And Stroh's is smoking here. Stroh's, fire brewed for smooth, consistent taste. Now you're talking Stroh's. Now you're talking beer. Now you're talking good times. And Stroh's is smoking here. There's some things you learn the hard way, like, hey, don't go on a vacation without telling the paper boy. And never buy a car without seeing your Southern California Chevrolet dealer. Now, for a performance car that'll really make your heart beat, see the Camaros, especially the hot IROC Z28. Your Southern California Chevy dealers are doing whatever it takes to make sure you get one. Don't buy a car without us. See your Southern California Chevrolet dealers. Don't buy a car without us. Tonight's game is brought to you by the Southern California Chevrolet dealers who announce a $300 cash rebate on all new Cavaliers delivered by January 5th, 1987. And by Discount Tire Centers, now leading the way with 46 locations in Southern California. Discount Tire Centers, we cut prices, not quantity. Fullerton has a basketball. They lead it 40-27. Richard Morton finally gets the inbound pass. Russo thought that five seconds had elapsed, but the official says no. Jackson working against the freshman. McCasner batted away, but Morton has it for Fullerton. A little over 18 minutes to play in the game. Webster in and out. Belt with a rebound for Washington. Belt averages just under 10 rebounds a game for the Huskies. Traveling violation on Phil Seven Bergen. George said at halftime as, as the Titans go down here on offense that they're having a little trouble with their matchup zone. We haven't seen it yet. All we've seen so far in the second half is a pretty good man-to-man -man by Washington. And low to Webster. Great move, and he scores. Herman Webster points at 42-27 Fullerton. Right there, Herman Webster, 32. He's six foot seven, going against seven foot Chris Belt. High post. Sevenberger looking low to Belt. Instead, he goes to Vidato. Blocked by Webster. Great play. Belt, and he's fouled. Belt had an easy shot, but the foul kept him from making the bucket. He'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. And here's Vidato driving the lane. Boy, look at that timing. That's Herman Webster, and that's a guy with three fouls going aggressive after that block shot. Little tip up here. Belt should have made this shot right here. He wasn't fouled that hard. But he's at the line for a couple. The foul was on Derek Jones. Alexander Hamilton, number four, is into the game now for Fullerton. Belt having problems with free throws so far this season. And he misses them both. Nice rebound by Webster. He gives it to Alexander. 17 minutes and 19 seconds left in the game. 42-27, Fullerton leading Washington.
into Webster against Belt. He runs over Belt. Offensive yeah. charge on Webster. Chris Belt's going to stand his ground here. Does a good job defensively, although he's behind Webster. Webster's going to juke a little bit, turn. Look at him digging that shoulder. And Chris is waiting for him. And that's four, as we said, on Herman Webster. And Webster comes out of the game, replaced by number 33, Oval Miller. Miller's in there for Fullerton. Kevin Bedato missed the bank shot. Seven Bergen with a nice rebound for Washington. Nice play by Phil Seven Bergen out of Edmonds, Washington. 42-29, Fullerton leading. Eugene Jackson reports to the scorer's table. He'll be in for Fullerton at the next opportunity. Henry Turner, high archer, no good. Seven Bergen with the rebound. Badano. <laughs> well, Badano wasn't sure, number 30, but he waited it out and decided, okay, I'll take this one. Badano doesn't score much. He averages just five points a game. That was a big bucket for Washington. An 11-point lead for Fullerton. Just under 16 minutes left in the game. And a blocking foul on Greg Hill. Andy Russo in his second year as head coach of Washington. And he's doing a lot of coaching here at the outset of the second half. Eugene Jackson has come in for Fullerton. Derek Jones with it, guarded by Zevenbergen. Hamilton loses it to Badano. Rakasner, no good. Rebound goes off to Hamilton. Jackson, a two-on-two. -two. Eugene Jackson, no good. Badano with a muscular rebound. Boy, it's a fast-paced game right now. Uh-oh, look at this. Belt can't get it done. Steffenbergen, no. But we've got a foul underneath. And Andy Russo reaches out and low fives Phil Zevenbergen. I haven't seen a coach do that <laughs> in the middle of a game yet. I think he sees a little momentum switch. You know, Washington's uh, playing a lot better right now in this second half. And Phil's been a big part of it. You know, Jeff, he played on the uh, Pac-10 All-Stars this summer in Norway and really improved his game. Phil Zevenbergen. Sounds like he's from Norway, you know? Great hustle by Fullerton defensively. George McCorn has done a nice coaching job with this club. It's early, but their PCAA season will be here before they know it. January 3rd, they open up the conference campaign for Washington. They leave here and they open up Sunday up in Seattle against UCLA. And now we've got tempers flaring. And now we've got a go. We got a full on fight. Fist the cups. Andy Russo out there trying to break it up. And the officials holding the players. Oval Miller of Fullerton and Phil Zevenbergen of Washington. And you'd hate to see anybody ejected from the game at this point. Now, you know, <laughs> really no surprise. I mean, you hate to see it, but it's an aggressive game. Uh, both teams are playing body to body. There's a lot of pushing and shoving and, and defense going on out there. That's what's going to happen. And here's a good look at it. You're going to see they're talking to each other right now there. See it? Now they get pushed by their teammates into each other, but it's not over. And there comes Old Mittal right there. Now, now he's going to take a swing, and I'll tell you what, look at that. You want to know who got the better of who? Zevenberger got in a couple shots right there on Miller. Actually, Zevenbergen initially was having words with Fullerton's Derek Jones, and Miller came right. to the defense of his exactly. teammate. And Miller may have got a cut above his left eye. A moment ago, I saw the trainer working above his left eye. Well, like I said, Zevenberger, he got in a couple of rights there. Well, right now, they're discussing, Jeff, should somebody be ejected? 
if who? Do we eject both players? That type of conversation. And I don't know that there's been a decision yet. I, I believe they're going to call a technical foul on Zevin Bergen and then maybe on Miller. Let's see. How can you call a technical foul on Zevin Bergen when Miller threw the first punch? I don't understand that. I mean... <laughs> And now the officials calling uh, the coaches over, I believe. That's right. Here comes Andy now, Russo. Over. Look here, Jeff. Look here. That's, that's Miller right there. He's going to look like a boxer when this... Uh, <laughs> I was going to say fight is over when this game is over. Russo asked the official, is this a timeout? And the official said no. And he said, well, where's McWarren? Get him over here. We were hoping to eavesdrop in on the conversation. Couldn't pick it up. So they have called a technical, as I thought they would, on Washington's Zevenbergen and Fullerton's Oval Miller. Chris Belt shooting for Washington. The crowd all over him. And he quiets them for the moment. Did he get fouled on the play? Why is he shooting? Yeah, he got okay. fouled on the play. Right? I hope he's not shooting the technical. So Belt makes two free throws. That makes it 42-33, Cal State Fullerton. Now George McQuarren wants to know what's going on. Well, he wants the official to get the game under control here. <laughs> so now Richard Morton at the line shooting two for Fullerton. He makes the first. Washington will get possession of the basketball. That's Andy Russo, their head coach, and Joe Cravens, his assistant, in his second year. 44-33, an 11-point lead for Fullerton. A wild ball game here at Titan Gym in Cal State Fullerton land. We've got a whistle. The foul is on Fullerton's Derek Jones, his third. Well, the fans don't agree, but I'll tell you why the official made that call. He's trying to gain control. He's looking for quick fouls now so that players will stop this uh, nonsense of all the physical contact, unnecessary contact. Otherwise, they will start kicking people out of the game. You betcha. Well, they, they, need, they have to in this situation. 15 minutes and four seconds left in this one. Oh, nice pass. Madonna missed an easy shot. The tip is no good. Zevenbergen gets it, batted away by Miller. It's wild and woolly. First and ten. Washington has the ball. <laughs> They're on their ten-yard line. High post belt, and we've got a foul as he tried to drive through the key on number 33, Oval Miller of Cal State Fullerton. And the officials, I think, are doing an outstanding job right now because, as you said a moment ago, they can't let it get out of hand right now. Otherwise, we're going to have somebody injured. Offensive foul on Washington. And Phil Zevenbergen, Paul goes against him. And I think he was trying to vent a little frustration there and got caught. We have a foul in the backcourt by Eldridge Rakasner and Andy Russo can't believe the call. He just waved his arm at the official. He said, you got to be kidding me. That's no foul. Andy Russo, as he turns and talks to one of his assistants. Life on the road. Life on the road at Titan Gym. 
four-point lead for Fullerton. They've got the basketball. Derek Jones. Alexander Hamilton. Rebounded by Chris Belt of Washington. They go to Belt again, and he puts it up. No good. Traveling violation. Into the game for Cal State Fuller to number 40, Henry Turner, replacing Alexander Hamilton. George McQuarn in his seventh season as head coach of the Titans. He can read his left. Let's run motion, boys. Let's run motion. A little over 14 minutes to play in this game. Down low to Miller. No bucket. No basket. George McQuarn wants a two-shot foul. He's not going to get it. And Washington wants a timeout. And they do get it. 14 minutes and one second left in this game. This crowd having all kinds of fun. We hope you're enjoying it. An 11-point lead for Cal State Fullerton. Don't go away. The Upstart Lasers have a mighty date with one of the MISL's toughest franchises, the Tacoma Stars. And Prime Ticket will be at the Tacoma Dome to see if their early season success continues. The Lasers, though, will have to stop perennial leading scorer Steve Jungle, the MISL's all-time greatest performer, and one of the league's potent scorers, Precky. Join Prime Ticket from Washington as we get set for the Lasers and the Tacoma Stars. High-powered MISL excitement. Last spring, Prime Ticket brought your way the excitement and skill of professional polo with the Los Angeles Colts. Well, once again, the mallets will be out in force as the Colts take on the very tough San Francisco Buccaneers. Be a part of all the power, precision, and endurance of professional polo as the L.A. Colts ride against the San Francisco Buccaneers. See it exclusively on the Prime Ticket Network. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Prime Ticket Network. Available on such fine cable systems as Oceanic Cablevision, serving Honolulu, Hawaii. Prime Ticket. It's in a league by itself. Well, I think the fans have been standing up as much as they have been sitting down here at the Titan Gym on the campus of Cal State Fullerton. They've got a lot of hollering to do yet. An 11-point lead for the home club. The alley-oop, and Henry Turner slams it home. What a play. Post to Zevenbergen away from the ball. We have a foul. It was Miller and Belt. Watch the alley oop one more time. Perfectly timed. It's all timing. You said it, Jeff. Look at that man. <laughs> oh, that's flying. Boy, that you know, that's one of the great plays in basketball. A truly exciting play. And if you're the home team, boy, it pumps up your fans in a hurry. Lodato looking for someone to pass it to, brings it into Belt. Belt drives a baseline, traveling, no bucket. He took too many steps, and Belt is beside himself. So is his head coach. Forty-six, thirty-three. Look at the turnover picture. Eight more for the Huskies. Henry Turner has it for the tight. Morton trying to get it in deep, and Belt knocks it away to Zevenbergen. Nice play by the seven-footer. In the Belt, ball by himself. Goaltending. Two points for Belt in Washington. Easy call. Ball's on the way down. No question about it. A little over 13 minutes to play in the game. An 11-point advantage for Cal State Fullerton. That's Derek Jones with it. Henry Turner guarded by Vedato. No bucket. He took too many steps. A traveling call. 
know, I've watched a lot of college basketball so far this year. I can't believe the amount of traveling calls. It seems so much more than the past years. I don't know if they've cut down the number of steps or what, but a lot of them. Greg Hill. That's a three-point three point shot by Hill. It's now an eight-point lead, 46-38. Plenty of time left, 12 minutes and 22 seconds left in the game. That's a lot of time. A three-point shot, good by Richard Morton of Fullerton. And just like that, an 11-point advantage again for the Titans. For two teams that don't shoot many three-pointers, that's back-to-back. Post that goes to Felt down low to Seven Bergen. Seven Bergen fouled by Fullerton. Well, Jeff, that's that high low pass again. I don't know why they haven't run that more. It's been very successful the few times that they've run it. Alexander Hamilton replacing Eugene Jackson for Fullerton. Vincent Blow comes in for the Titans, replacing Derek Jones. At number 41 for Washington, Phil Seven Bergen the free throw line. Also into the game for Washington, number 21, Al Moscatel. He's a guard. Seven Bergen, to the delight of the partisan Titan fans, misses the first free throw. He makes the second. 49-39, Cal State Fullerton, just under 12 minutes to play. I'm Jeff Witcher, along with Brad Holland. Hope you're enjoying this excitement from the Titan Gym in Fullerton, California. Turner, baseline. There's no way in the world you're blocking that. He is a tremendous leaper. He just went right over everybody. 51-39, Cal State Fullerton. You can hear the crowd in the background chanting the defense. Ron Caldwell, no. Rebound, Vincent Blow of Fullerton. Batted out of bounds by Washington. I know he's concerned, Andy Russo is. His team was making a little run there. They cut it to eight. But now it's back up to 12 for Fullerton, Jeff, and they have the ball. Fullerton will set up their half-court game now. Hamilton gives it to Richard Morton. He misses. Turner high off the boards for the rebound. His shot knocked away by Belt. Belt. Try to get the rebound, and he can't do it. He's on the floor. What great hustle by Chris Felt. That's a blow flying to get up. Here's a good display of, of people going after the ball. Look at Belt fight in there. Now he's going to dive after the ball. That's a player that's not giving up, I'll tell you, but no reason to. Ten minutes to go, ten and a half, only down 12. Eugene Jackson into the game for Cal State Fullerton. He wears number 12 on the back of his white uniform, trimmed in blue and orange. Hamilton gets the inbound pass. <laughs> 10 minutes and 23 seconds left on the game clock. 30 seconds left on the shot clock. 51-39 in favor of Fullerton over the Washington Huskies. Hamilton all the way, no good. Rebound, Chris Bell from Washington. That's Eldridge Lacazner, the only freshman in the starting lineup. No good, taken by Henry Turner. They've got the break, three on two. To Turner, he took too many steps. Traveling call on Henry Turner. That was an easy call to make. <laughs> George written on his team. He hates turnovers with a passion. Under 10 minutes to play, 51-39. Cal State Fullerton leading. Defense! 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 
Down low. The shot, no good. Offensive foul on Phil Zevenbergen. And Russo looks to his bench. Here's the high-low once again. It's worked all night for Washington. But this time, Zevenberger continues into the defender and draws the charge. Zevenbergen has to leave the game. Replaced by Ron Caldwell. And that hurts to have him out of there. Being such a physical game that it is in a 6 tenner, Zevenberger is going to be sorely missed by Washington. Henry Turner, no good. Batted, but it goes to Jackson of Fullerton. Jackson makes it Fullerton 53. Washington 39. A little over nine minutes to play. Phelps down low. Nice fake. Bank shot no good. Rebound Oval Miller for Fullerton. No question that Fullerton's done a, such a good job defensively. Washington cannot get on track. They can't put a few points in a row together. Every time I think the crowd is yelling as loud as they can, they yell just a little bit louder. Underneath to Miller, he scores! They're even clapping on the sidelines. The Fullerton bench into it, 55-39. Cal State Fullerton, timeout. Listen to the crowd. Eight minutes and 31 seconds left in this one. So far, it's all Fullerton. Look, some things you learn the hard way, like don't buy anything without measuring it first. And never buy a truck without seeing your Southern California Chevrolet dealer, because he's got tough, full-size Chevy trucks built to do what you need to do and want to do. Your Southern California Chevy dealers are doing whatever it takes to make sure you get one. So don't buy a truck without us. See your Southern California Chevrolet dealers. Don't buy a truck without us. Right now, all 46 Discount Tire stores are holding their spectacular year-end clearance sale. Hi, everybody. I'm Chick Hearn with incredible savings on Michelin tires at all Discount Tire stores. Like this one for just $47.95. So don't miss our year-end clearance sale. It's your opportunity to get Michelin's popular XH tires for as low as $47.95. But hurry, supplies are limited. Discount Tire stores. We cut prices, not quality. Tonight's game is brought to you by Great Western's family of companies. Over $25 billion strong will always be there. And by Avis, who invites you to get away this Christmas with a new Chevy Cavalier or similar car for just $89 a week. Call Avis for details. 55-39, Cal State Fullerton leading Washington. First time ever for a Pac-10 school to come into this gym and play the Titans. Intercepted by Jones to Hamilton, but he traveled with the basketball. In the field goal situation, note that Fullerton has gotten a lot more shots in the second half, some 16 more, and they're shooting a 52 percentage compared to 47 percent for Washington. Eight minutes and 15 seconds left in this game. Well, Jeff, I hate to be the, the bearer of bad tidings. We have a delay because a portion of the net has come unhooked from the rim. Look at that, 81-73 as the Cougars knock off UCLA, and one person not surprised at all, sitting to my right, Brad Holland. Well, I know my old alma mater this year. I, <laughs> they had a tough road uh, record last year, and this year it's no different. They, uh, they're having a lot of trouble playing away from Poly Pavilion. It's always been tough on the road in college basketball. It seems to me in recent years it might even have gotten tougher. I think you're right. Well, in terms of UCLA, they have such a young team. It's even harder for freshmen to play on the road. Not used to it. 
and Washington having their problems on the road tonight against Cal State Fullerton. It goes in deep to Belt. No good. Rebounded by Fullerton's Derek Jones. And usually Chris Belt makes those easy shots with just a little turnaround five-footer. Not tonight with the defense of Fullerton. Henry Turner crosses it over to Richard Morton. Seven minutes and 36 seconds left in the game. 23 seconds, now 22 on the shot clock. In the corner, Henry Turner, air ball, but Derek Jones has it. This is an easy shot underneath, rebounded by Belt. Hill gets it to Belt, and Belt makes it 55-41. Fullerton up by 14 points, a little over seven minutes left in the game. Well, it's time now for Fullerton to run some clock out, much like they did at the end of the first half. They'll take their time, make sure they get the good one. Richard Morton, nice pass to Derek Jones, no good. A great defensive job by Christian Belt. That's Kevin Badato, number 30 with it. Greg Hill trying to get it to Belt, and it goes to Fullerton. Two on one, Jackson, nice pass. Richard Morton can't get it to drop, but he is fouled by Rakasner of Washington. Well, here's a good look at Jackson Boy leading the break. Dishes it off, looks away. And there's Mr. Morton to take it. He gets fouled. Good job there by Richard Morton going away from his man, trying to shoot that reverse layup and use the backboard. That is the fourth personal on the freshman point guard, Eldridge Rakasner. Morton puts the free throw up and it rims and comes off. Al Moscatel, number 21, end of the game for Washington. Replacing Hill. Derek Jones has his shot blocked, but he may have been fouled, and yes, he was. Chris Belt picks up the personal. That's two times tonight, Washington on the free throw. Even though they have inside position, as you can see right there, the middle man of Fullerton has gotten the rebound a couple of times. You can't allow that to happen. That's number four on Belt. End of the game for Fullerton. Oval Miller replacing Herman Webster. Miller, number 33, 6'8", 230-pound junior out of Inglewood, California. Derek Jones at the line. He's a southpaw. He's got a half a, point, half a dozen points tonight. Anything under 70% is not real good from the free throw line, is it, Brad? I'll go one step further. I think anything under 75%. As a free throw shooter, you're there. It's free. you got to make three out of four. Kevin Vidato with a nice drive for Washington. 55-43, Cal State Fullerton. You see the time remaining, a little over six minutes. Big win this would be for Cal State Fullerton's basketball program. Henry Turner, he misses badly. Belt with a rebound. Washington needs a bucket right here. Now we've said all night they need to put points together. Moscatel to Ron Caldwell. Rakasner to Badato, and Fullerton takes it away. The lead to Morton, and he scores. And the fans, they're glad for the basket, but a little disappointed that he didn't dunk it. But I think Richard lost his footing on that. 57-43 in favor of Fullerton. It goes into Belt. Belt makes it 57-45. Five minutes exactly left in the game.
trying to go up, and he hit Belp in the face. The foul is on Al Moscatel of Washington. Well, you're going to get a good look at the contact here as Miller turns around. The elbow right there coming down right on his chin or his nose. And Chris, being at seven feet against smaller people, he's right at elbow level, you know what I mean? So he's going to he's gonna take a lot of blows like that in his career. End of the game, seldom used junior David Wilson. Number 24, David Wilson in for Washington. Phil Zevenbergen also comes back into the ball game, and Ron Caldwell will sit down. He's been hot at the line, and he misses. That's because you hexed him. No. You don't really believe in that. You're not superstitious, yeah. are you? I had announcers texting me all the time at the line. Miller makes the second. Oh, now I know what kind of a player you were. If you missed a free throw, you, you blamed it on the announcer. Somehow I still I got to shoot over 80%, though. Somehow. Just Maybe had a shot 90. Just think if the games had never been broadcast, you'd have never missed one. 58-45 in favor of Fullerton. Four and a half to play here at the Titan Gym. Trying to get it to Belt. Intercepted by Webster. Slam dunk. The lead to Turner. Will he have it? Yes. Oh. Wow. Huh. I got goosebumps. Those are some exciting plays. Belt misses, but he bats it to a teammate. We have a foul, and it's on Christian Belt. Belt fouls out of the game. Russo has to go to his bench. And they are partying heavy here at the Titan Gym. Wow, could you believe that 365 Turner? Oh my goodness. Ha! I tell you, the quick hands of this Fullerton team is impressive. They have deflected so many balls, created so many turnovers. And there's the great center of Washington. Chris Bell fouled out. He fouls out with 345 left in the game. Watch this 360 by Turner. Boy, and it's the showcase time here. Here we go. <laughs> you don't know how hard that is to do. Good leaping ability or not, it takes great body control. And I, <laughs> that was pretty. Herman Webster at the line. Misses the free throw. Turner with the rebound. Puts it up. No good. We have a foul inside. End of the game now for Washington, number 33, Mark West, and number 12, Clay Damon. And Henry Turner at the charity line for Cal State Fullerton. 62-45 in favor of Fullerton. Turner is below his average tonight. I'll tell you, with it only being 62-45, everybody's below their average. But when we look in the box scores, you'll see another balanced offensive attack by Fullerton. Turner makes the free throw. And now we have a timeout. Three minutes and 43 seconds left in the game. The Fullerton fans giving their team a standing ovation. They lead it 63-45. More in a moment. Brewed for smooth, consistent taste. Now you're talking shows. Now you're talking beer. Now you're talking good times. And shows is spoken here. Every 34 seconds, somebody else buys a new Chevrolet Cavalier. But now you can get $300 cash back on Cavalier sedans. $300 on Cavalier wagons. 
$300 on Cavalier convertibles. Cash back from Chevrolet. See your dealer now for details. You must take actual retail delivery from dealer stock by January 5th or watch the Cavaliers pass you by. There goes another one. See your Southern California Chevrolet dealers. Don't buy a car without us. The major reason the Titans have been so successful this year, they haven't made very many mistakes, but they have forced the opposition to make a lot of them. Tonight, 12 more turnovers for Washington than Fullerton. And it shows on the scoreboard, 63-45 in favor of the Titans. That is some kind of meaningful statistic. Underneath to Zevin Bergen, and he scores for Washington. Well, our viewers should know by now that that's the height of low. They can do that all night with his overplaying, stretched out defense of Fullerton. A little over three minutes to play, 63-47 in favor of the Titans. Derek Jones. Sixty-five, forty-seven. Fullerton. By a real key, Jeff. As, uh, unfortunately, Richard Morton creates a foul, and the coaches over here, we can see him, are saying, "No fouls, fellas. No fouls." Also, into the game now for Washington is number twenty, Jeff Sainer. Webster comes out. Richard Morton comes out, and Hamilton into the game for Fullerton. Number 20 is Jeff Sainer of Washington. He's a freshman out of Boise, Idaho. David Wilson at the line for Washington. David from San Francisco, California, a junior, 6'3", 180 pounds, hasn't played very much this season. This is a free throw, rebounded by Miller. Just under three minutes to play, 65-48, Fullerton. The crowd loves that little juky move by Eugene Jackson. Into Oval Miller. They'll set it up again. 20 on the shot clock. Miller can't get it to fall, fights for the rebound, out of bounds to Washington. Nice muscle by Miller. Two and a half to play. Taken away by Eugene Jackson. A great individual play by Jackson. What quickness Fullerton has. I'll tell you what, right now, Las Vegas is going to have a tough year, a tight gym this year. That ought to be a great game. Anybody who comes in here is going to have a tough time. What a play by Alexander Hamilton. Great move inside. 67-48, the Titans. And a nice move by David Wilson. It counts, and he was fouled. Well, here he goes, driving the lane. <laughs> He didn't even know if it went in or not. He hit the deck quickly. Nice drive, though. Very nice. Richard Morton into the game. Eugene Jackson comes out. Webster in. And Ogle Miller comes out. David Wilson trying for the three-point play. And he's got it. 67-51. Fullerton leading. One minute, 51 seconds left in the game. Certainly hope you've enjoyed it tonight along the Prime Ticket Network. I'm Jeff Witcher along with Brad Holland. Don't forget to stay with us on the post-game show and we'll have an interview with the Prime Ticket player of the game. The bucket is good by Fullerton. 69-51 in favor of Fullerton. Fullerton takes it away again. Washington gets it back. And the shot is good by Ron Caldwell. 69-53, Fullerton. One minute, eight seconds left in the game. Washington has no choice here but to try and 
play the defense, get some quick turnovers, and they're probably going to have to foul him a couple times here down the stretch. Alexander Hamilton. Now, I can see now what Washington's doing, and I appreciate it. I think it's a good move. The game is out of hand. Why foul and stop the clock? Wilson misses, and the rebound goes to Webster. And a double dribble on Herman Webster. The Titan bench, they're all happy, and well they should be. And the fans here, and this isn't even a capacity crowd, but you'd never know it. We've got a foul in the backcourt. On the other side, the emotions are not quite as happy as you might expect. And they open up against UCLA Sunday in Seattle. Uh, <laughs> It'll be a little easier to play at home than it was here tonight. Well, they're, they're looking forward to going back home after this ball game. Derek Jones makes the free throw. Yeah, they just got to lick their wounds and uh, go back and start the Pac-10 race. Washington is not a bad ball club. Uh, they'll be there in the thick of things. Chris Belt, great player. Jones misses. Turner with the rebound. Turner gets it back again. 23 seconds left in the game. Jones. And now Washington takes it away. Ron Caldwell, 72-55. Ten seconds is all that remains. The crowd up on their feet. Richard Morton, yes! the game you stay tuned next for our wrap-up show here on prime ticket you can hear by discount tire stores with over 40